uh, unattended or yung bigla kang downtime. So, ganun kalaki yung impact sa kanila. So, availability, even through, through, through high, high performance, performers, performers, uh, nangyayari pa rin. So, ito yung mga ginagawa ng mga data center operation operators na na hindi ginagawa ng iba. So, ito yun. Ito yun. Seven common behaviors and attitudes na isinare sa atin ng mga large data centers like Facebook, Google, uh, Yahoo. So, una daw, consider data center availability their number one priority. Ibig sabihin, no reason for downtime. Ang ibig sabihin lang nun, pag nag-shutdown yung power, dapat may isa ka pang power para mag-run ng buong facility. So, meron tayong tinatawag na tier classification. Yung tier classification, may 1, 2, 3, and 4. Kung hindi nyo pa narinig, si TIA, Telecom Industry Association, siya yung nag nagbibigay ng mga standards uh, dun sa mga tier classification on availability. So, ang pinakamababa po yung tier 1. So, ibig sabihin yan, pag nag-down ng U um, UPS, who knows what a UPS is? UPS. Ito po. Sir, what does a UPS do? Very good. So, anong ginagamit niya para para continuous yung power niya? Battery. Very good. Yung battery is the heart of the UPS. So, pag ma mahi ang, ang battery niya is hindi for a UPS, uh, downtime ka. Ba baliwala yung UPS mo. So, yung UPS po, uh, yun yung nagbibigay ng clean power mamaya, EXT. Ayan. So, sinasabi nila, availability is number one priority. So, pag nag-down ng isang UPS mo, meron dapat nasasalo ng isa. So, ang pinakamataas natin na tier classification is four. Kahit mag- uh, gumuho pa yung building ng isa, mag-run pa rin dahil may isa pa siyang building or separate na, na facility to run the data center. So, availability, number one, yun yung isang shinare sa atin. Uh, number two, utilize best practices in data center. Uh, I-discuss ko yan mamaya. Number three, dedicate ample resources for recovery. So, dapat laging may contingency. Pag nagkaroon ng uh, unscheduled downtime, dapat may contingency. We, have, we should have the resources to recover. Number four, Complete support from senior management. Kailangan may support ng management. Yung plano na uh, kung kailangan na uh, mag-prevent yung mga outages na yan. Number five, kailangan regularly test generators. Ito yung pag nawala yung main power, si Maralco, magkikik in kaagad si Jensen. So, kailangan matest siya regularly para malaman kung kailan kailangan mag-work si Jensen. Number six, test mo raw yung UPS batteries. Tulad ko, sa, sinabi ko kanina, sabi ni Sir, UPS is our backup power. So, pag wala yung battery, bali wala pa yung UPS. Then, number seven, implement data center infrastructure management for safety, monitoring. Kailangan may monitoring system tayo in place. So, yan yung pito. Mamaya, itatanong ko kayo kung kahit isa, kung ano yung naalala nyo dyan. So, availability. May tinatawag na tayo na TCO. Ang ibig sabihin yun, total cost of ownership. I-add mo yung CAPEX, capital expenditure, plus yung operational expenditure. Yan yung total cost of ownership. So, pinaka-mababa na TCO, yun yung pinaka-okay. Posible kasi mataas ang capex mo, pero sa operation mo, nakaka-save ka because you're using yung mga efficient na produkto. Like, for example, yung UPS and your cooling. 
So, may tinatawag tayo na generic TCO. Yung, ang kaibahan lang niya dun sa performance-based TCO is you have considered the availability in the in the equation. So, yun lang yung difference ng dalawa. So, we're always looking for the performance-based TCO. Dapat lagi natin yun ang consider na highly available yung ating system. So, emerging trend. Rapid deployment. Mer meron na tayong uh, nagawa dito sa Philippines through one of the telco, big telco company. Yung hindi na kailangan mag-build ng brick and mortar, yung tinatawag natin ayan yung mga konkreto. So, they're using contain container. Container, yung ginagamit na pang pang ship ng mga goods and items. So, dahil napakabilis ng deployment, you're cutting up to two months yung uh, pag-build ng mga ganitong uh, solution. Yung tinatawag natin containerized solution. So, ito ginagamit din sa mga disaster recovery na pag nag ng main data center, meron ka uh, facility na pwedeng padala mo doon yung or mag-function yung mga networking, yung mga uh, applications na kailangan mo for your business. So, yun yung mga containerized solution. So, meron tayong na-install na yan dito sa Philippines. Next yung ano pa yung isang emerging trend. Yung una po is yung containerized solution. Pangalawa, yung transformer-free UPS. So, lahat kay electronics. So, dalawa lang ang ibig sabihin nito. So, there is uh, meron pinagagamitan po yung transformer base, meron pinagagamitan yung transformer free. So, isa lang yung pag transformer base, uh, kindly take note, ginagamit to pag yung load mo is motor loads. Ito yung sa mga manufacturing, sa mga production, na motor ang load niya. So, dahil me, me, medyo uh, hindi stable yung power niya o yung dinadraw niya na power. Pero yung transformer free, ginagamit natin to sa mga data centers. Yun. So, ito yung ginagamit natin dahil mas mataas yung efficiency niya. Pero yung reliability ng transformer base, mas mataas naman. Pag uh, we're going for efficiency, transformer free. So, kaya lang, dapat maintindihan nyo, ginagamit lang natin yung transformer base pag ang load natin is motor. Kung sa center naman yan, hindi natin kailangan ng transformer base. Ibig na yung transformer base, merong transformer sa loob ng UPS. etong etong transformer free, meron din naman to kaya lang hindi nasa loob ng UPS. Nasa labas. Okay. So, bilisan na natin. Another emerging trend, yung una po, containerized solution. Pangalawa, yung transformer-free UPS. Pangatlo, management and optimization through DCIM. Hindi na ako magtatagal dito kasi yung um, ano yung kulik ko is we'll be explaining more about this. So, gusto ko lang sabihin dito na kailangan natin malaman kung ano yung yung critical facility natin. We should have the means to monitor yung mga status nila. Mamaya, i-discuss yan further. DCIM, fewer and shorter outages. Yan po ang resulta na. Pag may DCIM ka in place. DCIM means Data Center Infrastructure Management. So, punta na tayo sa best practices in data center design. Meron po yung pito. Kindly take note para may ma-share kayo sa inyong mga opisina pagbalik nyo uh, sa Monday. Unang-una is maximize the return temperature. May kinalaman po sa cooling. Mamaya, i-discuss din yan. So, mas mataas na temperature sa data center kasi walang tao eh. So, kasi si IT person sabi niya, ah, mayroon akong bagong madating na equipment. Gusto kong isalpak dyan sa server na yan. Ito sa rack na yan. Ah, sir, hindi na pwede. Kasi puno na. So, makikita natin kagad, right then and there, na uh, hindi na pwede. Anong, anong, uh, anong benefit nun? There are a lot of customers, what they do is, minsan, 
mag, magpapa, magpapa-expedite ng delivery ng equipment. Pagdating ng equipment doon, nga nga na yung mga site manager na, uy, bigyan mo ako ng space. Bigyan mo ako ng rack kung saan pwede. Let's say, meron ka ng physical space doon sa rack. Hindi naman pala kaya ng power supply. Diba? Kulang naman pala yung network uh, ports mo doon. Kulang pala yung support. Let's say, naka-restore ka. Hindi pala kaya ng restore. So, yung mga ganun. At the same time, kung meron namang, let's say, maintenance work, you can also do a search. So, kung ano man yung... This is basically an inventory of the entire data center. Okay, uh, whether it's IT equipment or let's say your PACUS, your UPSS. Pwede ka mag-search dito, it will tell you where it is. So, kung magde-decommission, mas mabilis din. Yung mga ganung klaseng uh, applications. Okay. And then we have DSU, this is more of an IT tool. If you're in charge of, uh, let's say, remote management of your IT equipment, or not even remote, let's say, nag, uh, yung mga example nila nila. Let's say, let's say kayo yung nag-maintain ng servers, switches, storage, So, what it does is, in a single pane of glass, lahat ng IT equipment nyo pwede makita dito. Let's say, you have a Dell server here, you have an IBM storage there, or EMC storage there, tapos meron kang VMware na tumatakbo din, tapos meron kang mga PDUs pa, meron kang mga Cisco switch, lahat yan pwede dito. So, what it does is, instead of having to do, let's say, a different session each time for each equipment, si IT, uh, IT operations guy, pwede yung isang login nila. So, single login, makikita nyo lahat doon. And then, you can do your own management kung anong gusto nyo gawin doon sa equipment. Let's say, power cycle, you want to do, uh, let's say, patch, patch management, mga ganyan. Okay? Now, I mentioned earlier about monitoring your, your power consumption. That's what Rack Power Manager is all about. Okay? Software siya, what it does is, what, the way we recommend it is, nakakabit siya sa intelligent PDU. Okay? Even without an intelligent PDU, kahit power, digital power meter lang, tatakbo to. Pero we don't recommend it that way. Kasi, let's say, may power meter ka for the whole room, may losses na yun eh. Versus, kung naka-intelligent PDU ka, we can actually get the power consumption even up to the socket level. So, kung gusto mo makita, let's say, meron ka isang rack, meron kang sampung server doon, Even the power consumption per server, pwede, pwede natin basahin. And we can give you a time-based report. So we can give you how much you're consuming now, ano yung consuming mo for the week, ano yung consuming mo for the month, kailan ka nagsuspite, yung mga reports na gano'n. So we can keep track of that. Okay. And then I mentioned about Trellis earlier. Uh, Trellis is a software. It also works with hardware as well. So the way we do it, We call this, uh, we have this appliance, ang tawag namin dyan, UMG, or Universal Management Gateway. Okay. Uh, tandaan nyo yung mga first slides ko, I, I keep talking about bridging facility and IT. So itong appliance na to, it's a one new box. One new lang yan. Makasya-kasya sa rack. What it does is, it gives you access to your IT equipment via KVM, via serial, via service processor. So, you can access your IT equipment. Server, storage, networking, regardless of brand, separate, uh, IP based or serial or KVM. And at the same time, kaya din yan mag-access ng cooling and power. So, in the same box, kaya niya kumonekta with IT equipment, kaya niya kumonekta with cooling and power. Kung ito, standard protocols lang naman to, di ba? KVM, serial, uh, uh, service processor. Same thing with the facility equipment. It doesn't have to be uh, Emerson branded cooling and uh, UPS. As long as the equipment is running on Modbus, Backnet, uh, you can you can do monitoring there using the same using the same box. Tapos it will just gather all that information dun sa box. Ibabato niya yun dun sa Trellis software. So Trellis is essentially para sa Baka siyang yung mga kaninang pinakita ko na data center planner, uh, rack power manager. So, bibigay lang na yun in, uh, in uh, one, one pane of glass, one dashboard. So, you can manage basically your, your entire data center from this box. Uh, from this box and from this panel. So, so just to summarize, uh, ano ba yung agenda namin when we, when we push DCIM? No? 
Okay, so what is it? Again, it's an integrated, real-time analysis and control, both for IT and facility. So, key, key uh, message to us. It's not just for facility equipment, it's not just for IT equipment. When you're talking about a complete DCIM, or data center infrastructure management, when you look at your data center, it's together, IT and facility. Okay? And also, again, Ano ba yung binibigay namin? We don't give you uh, a miracle pill na pag binigay namin sa inyo, automatic, okay na yan. What it does is we give you the information so you can make a smarter decision. So, mamamaximize yung equipment nyo, mamamaximize yung facility nyo and everything. Uh, so, by, by making those smarter decisions. At the same time, ito yung sinabi ko rin. Let's say, sa data center, you have your facility person, you have your IT person. Minsan, nagtatalo pa yan. Ay, yung reading ko, ganito. Ay, yung nasa records ko, ganyan. Now, you have a single source of truth. Dahil nagsashare sila ng information kung sino man yung involved in running that data center. Pwedeng makikita lang nila lahat doon. In, in that, uh, in, in these tools. Especially if you're talking to the higher bosses, at least sila, isang buo nakikita nila how the data centers are running. Tapos, um, uh, also, we're, we're offering DCIM for, for those IT managers. It makes it easier for them to manage the different equipment. Because heterogeneous kami. So, it doesn't matter kung anong brand yan. We can manage the different uh, equipment. And also, hindi porket, let's say, five racks lang, or even one rack lang, or three racks lang, you can implement DCIM. When you talk about DCIM, kahit, actually, kahit hindi five, eh. kahit one rack lang, pwede. So, regardless kung isang rack lang yan, or 1,000, we can implement a DCIM solution. Um, an intelligent PDU, for example, isang LCD tray, KVM switch for one rack, that's already part of DCIM. So, scalable siya. And then, as, as the organization becomes bigger, mas spread it tayo magdagdag ng magdagdag. Depende sa requirement. And, also, we're also pushing that it's already a must, lalo na kung haluha ni equipment though. Because it's harder and harder to manage equipment. Lalo na kung iba-iba yung vendors, iba-iba yung supplier, kanya-kanyang uh, management tools and all that. So, the more complex your environments are, mas kailangan lalo ng DCIM to support it. To make it easier for everybody to manage it. So, yun lang. I think that's, uh, that's my last slide. So, sana may na-gets naman kayo sa akin. Um, do, may open forum ba? Yeah. Yeah. So, Sigur, if you have any questions later, uh, we'll have an open forum. So, thank you very much for your time. I think I'll bring it back to Oliver. Go with it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Alvin. So, sir, ano yung aha mo sa DCIM? What does DCIM mean? Data Center Information Management. Infrastructure. Very good. Sino pang may aha dyan? Aha, ano na tutunan mo ma'am sa DCI? Ano yung big Very good. So I hope yung iba sa inyo mayroong mga aha dyan. Mga first time na narinig yung DCIM, Data Center Infrastructure Management. Ako, yung mga aha ko, real time. So one word lang, dapat real time yung monitoring na. So going back, uh, uh, ako ulit, sa, I'll be discussing the UPS, the Active Power Quality Solutions, and how to optimize for availability and efficiency. Kanina naalala ko si Merlin, sabi niya yung mga kinukuha ang speaker dito kailangan license. Okay? Magkaiba rin ang konsuma ng kuryente nun. So pag ginamit mo yung isa over the pagkawang application, so magkakaproblema kayo. Ang kakain ng nagkakain ng kuryente yun, hindi na satisfy yung condition. And later, I will show it to you. So ito po, uh, we call it Liber TM. Ang capacity niya po, 12.5, no? 5.5 hanggang 12.5 sa air pool o yung mga direct expansion system natin. Tapos sa uh, chill water naman po, o yung mga nag-opisina sa high-rise. Si nag-opisina dito sa high-rise na mayroong requirement ng, ano, ng aircon. Usually, centralized yan. Bibigyan lang kayo ng provisions na galing sa chill water system ng building. 
Kung kailangan nyo po ng aircon, chitwater system po ang gagamitin natin. <coughs> okay? So yan, meron po tayong Liberty PM. Okay. Uh, automatic switch over and standby duty rotation. So, kung mapapansin nyo yung mga aircon na ito, pag, pag kunwari ito, kapat na ito, no? Pag isa nasira, paano bubukas yung kapila? Anong gagamitin natin? Remote. Bubuksan natin mano-mano. Bubuksan natin. Kung papatayin mo, the same thing. Para ma-rotate mo, ikaw din, iikot ka din. Isa-isahin mo siya. Okay? So, para mag-mabuksan, saka i-off yung mga comfort aircons na yan. Pero yung precision cooling po, meron po siyang uh, technology. Meron po yung uh, microchip sa loob. Meron po yung uh, uh, device sa loob na pag yung isa nasira, automatic operate niya yung backup unit niya. Okay? So, para continuous yung operation ng cooling. So, kunwari, meron kayong uh, uh, dito, meron kayong data center, no? Tapos, gina, ginagamitan ninyo ng comfort aircon. Sa bernes ng gabi, nasira yung aircon. Okay? So, sabado ng umaga, walang paso. Linggo, walang paso.